guys want to stay up to date with my exclusive videos, make sure that you click the bell on the side to get notified. Here's the video. Yo, what's going on guys? So we got week two of Bo and Dante. Um, today what you'll see, we're kind of in a more, I call this like a structure phase. So we're going to do one month before we kind of get into the grind of everything. We did like a week of general prep. I, this is a little bit more general prep where it mimics more of, you know, as last week was a lot more work capacity. Uh, this month, you know, is more about getting into our program, but I added a lot more volume. I'm focusing highly on stability in the shoulder, you know, repairing all, like I said, as baseball players, they're, they're just, uh, you know, they're thousand reps. Everything they're doing is so pattern overload. So, uh, hey, make sure we get these on, uh, forward, down, and back, and then lateral. Uh, it's so pattern overload from the season. They both play it a long season. So now I'm trying to break them out of that, rebalance uh, the body. Um, in addition to that, I really want to focus on uh, trunk stability, shoulder stability, as I said, um, and then a lot of flexibility. But then on top of that, we have a lot of volume as far as our lifts. So we're just breaking in now. They come in, they have a series of 15 minute foam roll session that I have for them, whether it be upper or lower body that they do. Then beyond that, we do corrective stretches that kind of break them out of that muscular imbalances that I was just talking about, that pattern overload they had during the season. We're getting warmed up now and we're about to get into the program, so check it out. Hey, fire hydrants and hip circles, here we go. Hey, in the comments below, I need you guys to wish my man a happy birthday. Say, say happy birthday, Dante. Hey, here we go. Uh, from there, we're gonna go a little bit of thoracic mobility. So same, all, all fours. I just wanna do cat-cow. So guys, pay attention from here. You're gonna push down, neck comes up, ass comes out as hard as you possibly can. You almost wanna push that chest rib cage down as hard as you can, and then curl as hard as you can. Tuck it in, push your belly button through the roof. I want you guys right here, we're focusing just through the ankle. Just through the ankle, we're going here. I want pop, you're gonna go 10. We're not going time, you're just going 10 straight, okay? Pay attention, absorb the ground, meaning come down under control. I don't wanna, I don't wanna stomp the ground, I'm coming. Boom, boom, touching every single time. Try to eliminate, come down, you're not touching the heel and explode back up with a big explosion. I don't want you to tap and go, you hard. Come down, explode, come down, explode every single time, all right? I did 10 fluid. Here's the other thing, have good body control. So I want you in the same place that you were all 10 jumps. Here we go. Just because it's easy, just because it's not, I'm not throwing you guys a bunch of different difficulty and advancement in your movements. We're not progressing. All I care about is quality reps every single time that we do these, right? The quality of your reps should be sexy, not the movement. Let's go. Pop, pop, be an athlete. Good shit. Good, we're down here, let's go. We're coming right back to the basic, like I just said. So we're gonna start with box jumps. I'm gonna escalate you. Pay attention though. Every single jump, I want you to step up, load your feet right in between your shoulders, right, right underneath your hips, I'm sorry. I get a big swing, I get my arms involved, my hips come back, I explode up. When I land, I stick the landing, my hips are back, right? I have a flat back, I land in an athletic position. I step down. Slowly we'll escalate every two, okay? Just because you're right here, 
doesn't mean I want you jumping that the box is here. Does that make sense? So pretend it's this high. So it means give me a high effort jump every single time. All right, let's ride. From here now we're focusing on absorption. We've done these before. We're not adding a jump to it. All we're doing is stepping off. Hey, like I said, we're back in the basics. It's only one week of it, but I gotta see you stick and I have to see you have perfect form here. That means back straight aligned, my hips are out, I'm able to absorb force in this position right here, okay? I need you right above 90 degrees. Right above 90 degrees, knees aren't over the toes, and I'm not sinking. Think like a quick hydraulic, boom. I land, I stick it. Does that make sense to you boys? Yeah. Here we go, arms out so you're counterbalanced. Let's go. Bang, good. Step straight out and then come down as opposed to already coming down. Bang, bang. A little bit deeper for me now. A little bit deeper. Two, hey, not bad. Uh, weighted squat jumps, so you're just gonna hold on to these. All right, we're coming here, I want good body control. My spine stays neutral, my chest stays upright. That's the big thing I wanna see. So you're coming back here, but my chest stays up. I don't wanna see you fall. Shoulder blades stay back. I'm coming to about quarter squat. I'm exploding up, just like we did with the pogos. You come down, absorb, come back up. All right, we're going 10 seconds on this one. 10 seconds total, all right? So one man goes, the other man rests, and we flip. And go. Pump, pump. Okay. You're a little bit quad dominant, so you're coming a little bit here. Look at me from the side. You're a little bit here. I want to see. Bang, bang. Got me? Yep. Here we go, ready. And go. Push. Push, good, Bo. Good, legs right underneath the hip. Keep going. Time, good. Ready, and go. Much better, way to correct yourself. Time, good. Gentlemen, difficult movement, but imperative for you to learn. Single leg box squat, okay? So, you're coming here, I'm in a front rack position. If we need to, I'll go goblet. I know you guys are still a little bit tight in the shoulder region, if we gotta go holding it here, that's fine. I just care about the weight going up a little bit. So we're from a front load here, like I'm doing a front squat. Then, I feel the bench on my back of my calf, I get in one leg, I come down under control. As I come down under control, I don't mind getting a slight momentum coming up and pushing through that leg. You're gonna go six, six each leg. Then you're gonna swap. Does that make sense? Watch me from the side again, pay attention. I brace the core. It's front squat, so it's not an axial load. It's not gonna be hard on the spine. It's right here, but it's gonna try to pull you forward. From here, I'm under control. I stabilize my torso. What I mean by that is just flex your abs, okay? Tight, brace. From here, this leg counterbalances, it comes out. I come down slow under control, hips back. As I do this, slight momentum forward, drive through the heel every single time. Does that make sense? It's gonna be a little bit difficult. High neurological movement means I need you guys to highly focus, slow it down, under control every single time. Control, 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 good. Woo! That's it, big boy, that's it. Now, hey, tight core, keep the kettlebell off your body. I know. Four, four. Can you, can you move up you want to stay here? Do what you can. It's first week training. Like I said, this is a tough movement. Very tough movement, but I need you guys doing it. Screw that foot, screw that foot, screw that foot. Hey, much better, much better. Elbows high for me, Bo.
pop. Good shit, bro. The inside of my elbow, you guys see the entire time. I don't want to see you here, because then you'll start rounding. I want to see the inside of your elbows the entire time facing out. From here, right, I drive up by pulling my hip up, squeezing my ass cheeks, pulling my hip forward. Does that make sense? Remember, knees slightly bent here, and I drive hips back. Spine stays neutral, spine stays neutral, spine stays neutral. I go to my edge with my hamstring stretch, bang, come straight back up. As you can see, when I go through that movement, I'm more focused with my hips going back than bending the knee. I don't wanna see you bend the knee anymore. Does that make sense to you guys? What I mean by that is I don't wanna see you go here. It's not a deadlift, it's a Romanian deadlift. Hips go back, slight bend in the knee so it's not locked, okay? We're gonna go eight repetitions. I want two to three seconds on the way down, just show me you have control. I don't need power or pop out of it coming up. I just wanna see you come up under control, slow on the way down. Eight reps, let's go. Taut the top, squeeze your butt cheeks. Shoot them hips back. So like for them right now, it's just a matter of, you know, I'm building, like I said, this is more of a structural phase. So before that, I like a little bit less weight. I'm trying to really hit the hamstrings on these uh, for the bend pattern. Um, I want to keep neutral spine. Uh, they've been doing a lot in, in, uh, in throughout the baseball season. You're using so much of your torso. So I really want to build them off for the base of their support. So what that means is their lower back and their the lower back here, all those erectors are firing to be able to do this. So it's going low, uh, a slower movement. Uh, it's getting a range of motion on the, on the hamstrings and, uh, and I'm slowing it down. So they have a little bit more time under tension, just trying to really build, rebuild that body and the stability in that body. Uh, so I'm kind of really meticulous about the way that they're doing this, as opposed to just going up and waiting, going through it. Um, and yeah, like I said, that's really what I'm focusing on here. I don't want to have them sprinting and jumping with a, a house of cards, you know? I want a foundation that's built out of steel, and that's what we're doing right now. Hey, good. Dumbbell step-ups. We're going to go medium box. It's not going to be high this week. It's medium box, but here's what I'm paying, paying attention. You're grabbing the dumbbells. They face out. The reason they're facing out is because I want the shoulder blades peeled back. I don't want you here. I don't want you here, rounded shoulders, trying to drive forward. I want you opened up, right, supinated, pull the sh uh, shoulder blades down and back, retract them. From here, my whole foot is on the box. I'm going six one leg, then I'll switch, okay? From here, I'm driving through the heels. I want to avoid taking off with this calf, right? So I don't want to be here and then get all the burst from here. Momentum, I want to drive from here, drive off this front hip, pull that hip through every single time. I come down, I absorb the ground, decelerate properly, meaning take your time on the way down. From here, drive off. I want a little bit of bounce in that calf. Nothing serious, right? Just roll right into it. So, lighter weight, pull it out, six each leg. We're gonna go one after the other, let's go. Good, just show me under control on the way down. Good, a little bit slower. Control, 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 good. 
Stay on that front heel. Stay on that front heel. Gentlemen, we got hollow holds. Last two things. I'm gonna coach it to you first. I'll correct you. Show me a 10 second hold and then I'll start the clock. Does that make sense? Good, so you're gonna start almost in a dead bug position. What that means is you're on your back and your knees and your ankles are at 90 degrees. Good. Arms straight out in front of you. Good. From here, gentlemen, what I want you focusing on is tongue on the roof of the mouth. Tongue on the roof of the mouth, arms straight up. Arms straight up. Straight up in the air, yep, tight. Good. From here, what I want you guys to really focus on is the lower back stays attached to the ground. It does not leave, okay? What my first layer I'm gonna say is arms go back, shoulders come off the ground, shoulders come off the ground, head comes off the ground, good. Lower back presses, lower back presses, arms go straight back like you're pointing, good. Straight right there, right there. You can even lock them and point as hard as you can like a diver, like a diver. Shoulders stay off the ground, shoulders stay off the ground, legs come straight out and point. Right there, point, point. Lower back stays on the ground, lower back stays on the ground. Good, time. Time, 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 time. You felt that, right? Good. We're gonna go 45 second count. Pay attention to me. Chin stays tucked. I'm tight as I can with like a diver. Toes point like a diver. I'm almost creating like a bowl. Does that make sense? Does that make sense to you guys? We gotta work. We gotta work, okay? Here we go. You're gonna have, hey, you're gonna be shaking. You're gonna be hurting. Let's create that stability in that core. Lower back stays hard, shoulders stay off, legs stay off the ground, okay? Here we go. Ready, and go. Shoulders stay off, shoulders stay off. Good, tight, good, good, tight, tight. Point the toes, point the toes. Good, good, shoulders stay off, tight. Let's go, gentlemen. Arms straight up, 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 right there. Point, point, good, tight. Don't cross your feet, don't cross your feet, good. Point. Good, tight, 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 tight. I know when you're cheating, I know when you're cheating. Hey, 15 seconds, let's go to work now. It's hard, it's hard, I know it. Let's work, let's work, let's work. It will not kill you, let's work, gentlemen. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Create that stability, create that stability. 10 seconds, 10 seconds, I need you working now. I need you working now, here we go. Shut your brain off, go to that place. Go to that place, go to that place. And time, good. Hey, from here, we're 45 degrees, right? Seated up, knees 45 degrees, we've done these before. I want you right here, rotating. All right, you got 20 each side, that's 40 total. Hey, pay attention to me though. I don't wanna see this. I don't wanna see that rib cage collapse. Have that hook underneath right here. Boom, pull yourself out. Ding, ding, ding. Let's go. 40 total. the toes, point the toes. Go to that, ah, get that lower back in the ground. Shoulders stay off, come on, fight, 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 fight. Right down to it, right down to it. Let's go, 15 seconds, 15 seconds. Good, come on, fight, fight right now, right now, right now, 10 seconds, 10 seconds, let's go. Show me something, boys, show me something, boys. Show me something, boys. Three, two, time, good. wrap they're done for the day this is a sample kind of show you guys exactly what we got going on as far as their new program as you see this is kind of a base um, obviously going to progress this make it a little bit tougher each week this is only one month of this like I said it's kind of like our structure phase it's really trying to build them up uh, they look pretty good um, again, last week we went, did one week of work capacity. I'm doing that as well, but I'm also building them from the inside out, really trying to build that great foundation. Uh, 
I really want to put, not to say that I didn't give him more effort the last two off seasons, but this is one of those pivotal off seasons for both of them. And uh, it's pulling out all the stops. They've been with me too, so I can progress them in movements a lot more. They know what I'm looking for. Their technique inside training is a lot better. That's another thing. I need, a, 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 depending on the athlete, I need a little bit of time to have that technique and form exactly where I want so I can almost stop pulling back the reins and let them loose. And this is gonna be one of those off seasons. So I'm excited for them. Uh, if you guys don't know, uh, you know, Dante got injured this season. He came back and hit really well. Um, this is a pivotal year for him because he's, you know, he was a first round pick. He's coming into that pivotal time where he needs to, um, you know, see where he's going to go. He's trying to change positions and things. And he, he came back and lit it up and he played really well. Uh, one of the best off seasons we had last year and I'm excited for him. Bo, Bo came in, this is his first full year and he completely lit the minor league up. You guys can look it up. He probably had one of the best of all time. My man was hitting above 400 all year and this is a pivotal year off season for him too because we want to try to crank him up as well. I've gave them both a packet um, basically what I need from them, strengths, weaknesses, and basically program notes. So I have both of them. While it looks like they both have similar programs, there's two things with each of them that I'm looking to kind of develop, and you'll see that over time. Dante, I'm really trying to work on his fluidity and movement. Bo, I'm working on absolute strength, stability, and a little bit more with his quickness, his first step. So you'll see as the uh, off-season progresses, kind of how I'm breaking and working on each of those attributes individually with each athlete, even though they're doing the same program. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much what I have planned for them. So hope you guys enjoy it. Hope that you're able to take some tips or tricks within the actual workout. I try to share with you guys everything, be as transparent as I possibly can. I hope it's helping you athletes out, especially some of you baseball players. Love y'all, I'll you next time. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. If you're a baseball player and you're serious about off-season training or even in-season training, basically weight training for baseball, I urge you to check out my advanced off-season training for baseball players. And if you like the video and you wanna see more, go ahead and click right here to subscribe to the channel so I can keep pumping you out more value, more content. Love y'all, I'll you next time.